there's a guarantee of $12,000. Make sure you get a 50-50 draw ticket this Gold Cup and Saucer night. There's a guaranteed $12,000 to the winner. So the countdown clock is in. Post time for the 10th. The Minister of Finance, Pace, and in behind the Metro Home Building Center starting gate and back upstairs for the race call. Here's Vance Cameron. Island Beach Boy, Bankroll, Big Boy Hill, Sunshine Lou, Windermere Bex Man, Don't Ask Logan, Rymar Jimbo, Brumbies on the grandstand side. It's the 10th, and it's post time. Rough and pacing, leaving out that is Sunshine Lou, Island Beach Boy along the rail. Bankroll third one into the turn to get away fourth at Big Boy Hill, then fifth. That is Windermere Bass Man. Racing from six is Don't Ask Logan. Then it's Rymar Jimbo seventh and trailing the field. That is Brumby, the quarter pole bound. Island Beach Boy, the leader in line to Brody McPhee. Racing from second, that's Bankroll. Third towards the rail. In the early going, it's Sunshine Lou. Now fourth, Big Boy Hill. Windermere Bass Man races fifth. Sixth is Don't Ask Logan racing seventh. That's Rymer Jimbo. And trailing the field, that is Brumby. 28 seconds flat opened it up. Down the stretch they come, led by the post-time favorite, Island Beach Boy. Bank roll races from second, third up the rail. That is Sunshine Lou. Windermere Bash Man is underway in the outside fourth, racing fifth. Big Boy Hill, now on the outside is Don't Ask Logan six. Rymar Jimbo back to seventh, and Brumby is eight. Fifty, six, four, opening half mile. Island Beach Boy getting away on them now. Bankroll is second. Windermere Best Man on the outside, now third. Racing from fourth. Down on the inside is Sunshine Lou. Three wide, don't ask Logan. Up the rail comes Big Boy Hill. Island Beach Boy with a tremendous lead of a three quarters in one. 24 and four. 28 flat in the third. And it's all Island Beach Boy. Windermere Best Man is second. Don't ask Logan is taking over third. Deep in the stretch with that insurmountable lead. Island Beach Boy on the line with Brody McPhee. Second, that'll go to Windermere Bash Man. Big Boy Hill rallies up third. 154 2. Okay, here's the slow-mo for race number 10. Minister of Finance presentation coming up in just a moment. This guy loves the front end, Island Beach Boy, and that's where Brody put him tonight. Well, in the month of August, he simply just caught fire. He's turned his game right around. He had a, a solid second, two starts back, uh, chasing Chickaboom. Then he went uh, basically brushed and held on in 154, and two is the heavy favorite uh, last week, and he comes right back, revved up on the engine, 28-56-4. And then he blows them away with a 28 third quarter, 124 and four. Finishes it off 29 and four. 154 and two tonight for Island Beach Boy, Brody McPhee, Tom Weatherby, Windermere Best Man way back there in second. Big Boy Hill third. And for Brody McPhee, that might have sealed something here. Well, we're uh, thinking he's close in the chuckers. Uh, yeah. We'll wait for the official result, but yeah, he's right there.
Island Beach Boy arriving at the 10th race winner's circle. Big pace and gelding. He's by by some beach somewhere off the Armbro McIntosh Dam. Lady Sometimes, owned by Ian Smith of Stratford and Arnold Hagen of Bible Hill, Nova Scotia. Trained by Tommy Weatherby and driven to victory by Brody McPhee. Time for the mile in 154. And two, Island Beach Boy in the Minister of Finance pace. Down at trackside, the Honorable Jill Birch joining us tonight has the cooler presentation.